Hello. I want to talk about scams, specifically scams that are perpetrated on Craigslist.org. Many of you are familiar with Craigslist.org. Actually, I think it's a great website. It's uh, an international website. There's all kinds of things that you can do on Craigslist. You can buy and sell all, so all sorts of things on Craigslist. You can do all sorts of things on Craigslist. Um, and I don't necessarily think this is Craigslist's fault. I don't think that they're behind this, but you got to remember in this digital age um, that there are those people out there whose sole purpose in life today is to scam you and separate you from your hard-earned cash. So I want to offer those of you who may be new to Craigslist a couple of things to watch out for when you're on that site. First of all, um, I am a musician. Uh, I, I do music among other things, but I am a professional musician and frequently I advertise my music services online and one thing that I've noticed is that people will, in response to my ad, will email me all kinds of junk. Most of it's illegal, a lot of it's that Nigerian 411 stuff or bogus links to things that could contain malware and if you click on those things it could really screw up your computer um, I get bogus listings for bank you know bank account information all the time and I'm just really tired of it I'm tired of having to read my emails so so very carefully I mean with most email service today they have some really great anti-spam uh, anti-spam where that will filter out stuff but there's still stuff that makes it through the filters and you have to be so so careful in reading these emails and so so careful about anything that you click on because uh, you could lose money you could screw up your computer it's just a bad bad thing all around and I'm really really sick of it and when I get this kind of stuff anymore a lot of times I just delete it or depending on the kind of kind of mood I am in sometimes I respond back to these people and I really tell them off and because they don't deserve courtesy these people don't deserve courtesy they don't deserve respect they don't deserve any kindness, they deserve to be told off and cussed out, which is exactly what I do to some of them. The other thing you want to think about is if you're looking for a job. One thing that Craigslist does in every community, that the, every community where they advertise is they will offer jobs. But beware that some of these jobs, a lot of these jobs in fact, are not real. Again, they're scams. You know, they're out there if they want to work uh, uh, if you're looking for a job, they'll do background checking services or education checking services or offering education services or preliminary um, recruitment tools or wh whatever it is. There's, th th there's all kinds of clever ways that these people out there have to scam you and separate you from your identity information and then that could turn into a case where uh, you know they're using your own identity against you to, to run up bogus credit cards and loans and so forth. So you've got to be really, really careful about that. One instance that I recently ran into was where um, I was looking for some extra income and I responded to an ad from a, a company that looked like they were looking for customer service people and the way they worded this ad was very clever because they made it appear that um, if I was accepted by this company that I would be looking at either a weekly salary or an uh, hourly position in exchange for working for this company when in fact it was actually a business opportunity and you know I don't have problems with companies that are soliciting business opportunities but this company was purposely in my opinion purposely deceptive in where they place this business opportunity because there's a specific place on Craigslist where you can do so but did they do that no they went to the help wanted section the, the job or employment section and made it look like it was a paid employed position that I have a problem with and when I talked to the so-called recruiter I told her that I said you know you, you, you've done this on purpose this is deception and I don't appreciate it and I'm not gonna pay for a job of course she tried to convince me otherwise and told me what a wonderful company it is and she's sent me several emails since that phone call last week but I just delete all of it because it's not worth it's not worth my time so those are a couple ways that you can protect yourself when you're dealing with Craigslist or other online communities um, so I hope it helps. Uh, we'll talk more on this later. Thanks. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks.